like this look familiar to you? This nice size bag of chips, this may be your midnight snack. This may be something that you hopefully aren't having as your dinner, but for some people's case it is their dinner. Yes, it may be one bag, but sometimes these one bag can equal to two bags, can equal to three bags, and you somewhat become addicted to these types of things. Okay, maybe it's not chips for you. Maybe it's cake. Maybe it's pie. Maybe it's pizza, ice cream. I don't know. Whatever it is that you find as a comfort food, whatever it is, is it working for you? Now, for me, I had my comfort foods. Food was a friend to me. In some cases, a best friend because it was always there. And unless it made my stomach upset, it didn't talk back to me. Food is a comfort. Food can be something that's always there at your disposal, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's good for you. If you're like me, you may work at a place where food is abundant. Food is there because someone graduated, someone woke up, someone went to the store this morning and decided to treat everybody. And if you're not strong enough, those temptations can be very strong. They can be very, um, very tempting. But you've got to figure out how are you going to control what you eat and what you put into this temple that you've been blessed with. Now, I'm not saying you have to starve yourself, but what I am saying is you need to be very aware of what you're eating, its nutritional values, how much you're eating, and its impacts. Now, let's say you're at dinner and you're looking at your plate. If you can't even see the bottom of your plate, you don't even know what the design is on the plate, I'm thinking you probably have just a little too much on it. Typically, a serving size is about the size of your palm, depending on what the food is. But most of us, either out of habit, tradition, whatever the reason, we're probably putting two and three times more on our plate than what we need to. And in some cases, we're probably eating more often than we need to, and with the wrong types of food, the wrong types of drinks. So I'm just going to encourage you, do this for me. Write it down a food journal for about a week. Just take inventory of what you eat every day, every week. And I bet you'd be a little bit surprised at how much you put in to your body. And once you see it, once you see it written down, once you equate it to calories, either from a calorie counter or some of the online programs that are available, I bet you'll be quite awakened as to why maybe you are the size that you are, especially if that size is undesirable. So I'm going to encourage you to pay attention. Pay attention to the nutritional value on these labels that are on here. Look at the calorie content. Look at the fat, the carbs, the sugar and the salt, and the fiber. Be familiar with what you're eating, because if you don't know what you're eating, how can you make a plan for how to deal with your body? How can you make a plan on how to get better control of your health. So just like we do with anything else that we want to know about, we've got to research, we've got to study, and we've got to apply. So I encourage you today, take control of your health, take control of what you're putting in your mouth, and can take, take control of what you're eating.